Hello, Vintage Auburn Motor fans. This is T Mike here in South Louisiana. Guess what I'm doing today? That's right, I'm making another video today. Today's video is going to be how to check for a stuck float in a carburetor. A lot of times you're working on a carburetor and you put it back on and the gas is flowing out of it when you pump the bulb and you wonder what's going on with it. You take it off, work on it, put it back, still doing it. You got the the process of taking it on and off and I'm going to show you how to check that carburetor on the bench without putting it back in the uh, on the motor to see, make sure that the, the float is working properly on the inside. So with Matthew's help we're going to get started. If everybody's ready here we go. Alright so Matthew's working on a carburetor. Started off with the problem being that the engine would uh, run when it was only choked. If you don't choke it it would die so we figured it was a dirty carb, Matthew did, so he took it off, he cleaned it, and when he put it back on the motor and pumped the bulb, the gas was just flowing out of it, flowing out of the upper uh, opening in it and out the throat of the carburetor, so we figured when he put it back together, the float was stuck. So he's got it apart right now, and we're looking for the problem. So, as I'm looking at it, Looks like the float is installed properly with the pin down. Now I'm going to turn it upside down and see if the needle valve is working properly. If you hold it here and you see the needle valve falling down with it up and down. So everything looks right. Matthew told me that when he took it apart, didn't see a problem with it. So we're going to put it back together. And then I'm going to show you the t mic trick I promised you. I'm going to show you a t mic trick how to test that carburetor for a working float with this little pigtail off of a fuel tank. So after Matthew puts it together, we'll, we'll do the testing on it. All right, Matthew's got it reassembled, and I got the gas tank sitting right here. So the t mic trick is to get you a short piece of quarter-inch hose, put you the male connector that would be on the motor right here that way we can plug it in to the fuel line take the end of it and put it on the input to the carburetor okay and then stand here and pump the bulb on the fuel tank it ought to fill that carburetor with gas the float ought to rise and seal and no gas come out and we'll hold it over the can here so that if it does come out we won't get it all over the place. So this is how you check that your float is working properly on your carburetor without having to put it back on the motor, which is tedious, putting the bolts on, getting all the linkages together. This checks the sealing of the float inside the carburetor. All right, hold it over your... What's it doing, Matthew? It's holding it. Did you feel did you feel the bulb get hard? You felt the gas going in? Yes, sir. And none's coming out. Yes, sir. So what happened was when you reassembled that, the float was jammed or stuck, not properly, it couldn't operate. When you took it apart, put it back together, you see you put the needle and valve and everything in there correctly. So now it's not pouring gas out the front. Now you can put it back on the motor and see if we fix the problem. Got it? How you like that T Mike trick, Matthew? It's nice. It's pretty good. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so what happened? We took it out here, we put it on the motor, and guess what? Fuel started coming out the front again. So we went through the process again with the T Mike trick inside the shop. And as I looked at it back, as you saw in the earlier, the earlier portion of the video, the float was not level. When Matthew put it in to get, put it together, the float was tilted downwards. So I bent, I bent it to where the float is level with the base of the carburetor bowl. That float not being level was what was not shutting off the needle valve and stopping the flow of gas. So we did that in the shop, me and Matthew, and Matthew took it out here, and it's not, when he pumps the bulb, it's not coming out the front, and guess what happens when he tries to start it? Go ahead, Matthew, show him what you got. before it wouldn't run when it it wouldn't run unless it was choked when you idled it it would die and now it does run 
put on it. So Matthew fixed it by cleaning the carburetor and he learned a little bit about leveling the cork inside on the float. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. What are we doing here at T Mike's Vintage Outboards, Matthew? We're doing it one motor at a time. <laughs> uh, see y'all next video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video here at T Mike's Vintage Outboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir mes amis and laissez les bons temps rouler.